So obviously not a pretty game to watch, right? Uh, but uh, a lot better defense, good offense in the fourth quarter, and uh, made the plays when we needed to. I really thought one of the, the big plays were, I mean, during the game with about, I'd say the first, uh, like, 18 minutes of the game, they beat us to every loose ball, every long rebound, and we were playing well, and it was hurting us. And then it was actually Nick. You know, if you guys remember, he had two or three hustle plays. He had a couple where he tipped the ball away from Mahimi that we got, and then we got better at, at that end. And then late in the game, uh, <laughs> he made a mistake on the Beal three. It's blown coverage. It's just bad defense, right? Then we had the turnover, okay? And then uh, Beal came back, and he would have had the rhythm three, got open again on a mistake. And Cody made a great play and made him put it down and go to the step back. You know, which he missed short, and that was the other play. Like without watching the film, that would say he's significant. So, good win, and um, you know, it's good to play good in the fourth quarter. You know, so uh, you know, we'll practice tomorrow. Hope we get better, and hope we can play good on Monday. Steve, you mentioned Nick and, and what he did. How, did that just show how much he means to you, especially with him being out the last couple? Oh, I mean, he's such a unique player, I mean, because he does. He helps in every phase of the game. And, uh, you know, like tonight, well, you know, again, he had 10 rebounds, uh, five assists, and he could have had a lot more if we would have shot the ball better. But he also made big plays at the end of the game. You know, you can play through him. He draws a second defender, and he creates room for Kemba. So, yeah, I mean, listen, he's a terrific player. So whenever you lose a guy like that, it makes it harder. Overall, was the defensive intensity, the effort more what you've been looking for tonight? Yeah, a lot better, a lot better. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, let's hope we can we can bottle it and do the same thing on Monday. You held Bill with 5 or 16. I thought you did a good job limiting his production. It's good to see you. He is good. And he's been I'm on sorry, a roll. Bill, I'm, I'm at Wall. Wall. Me, Wall. Yeah. Well, Bill was uh, – but Bill had 18, but he worked for him, and uh, we kept him off the free throw line. So uh, that was good. Cody seemed to have an awful lot of energy in that early. Thought he was great. Yeah. Thought it was the best game he's played in a long time. Both ends of the floor. He was a presence defensively. Uh, he had some tough finishes around the basket, and. Um, and Gortat and Mahimi are both big, physical, strong guys. I thought he was really, really good, really good. I thought Briante did a good job, too. He's coming in. He changes the tempo of the game. Uh, he's, he's, you know, he's got a little nastiness to him, and it's, you know, he's got to learn, obviously, like some of the, some of the nuances of the NBA game. But, um, you know, he's in there. Listen, the way they say there's going to be numbers in every column. You know, and you need guys like that sometimes. You don't just need all guys that are, you know, just smart, you know. And uh, he did make things happen. So I thought he did a good job, too. Frank starts out the way he did. Did anybody encourage him or talk about him? He certainly was fighting at it over for nine. And then he yeah. a little burst there. I, I really believe that ever since the West Coast trip, um, he's just played a lot more like he did last year. Not worried about mistakes, you know, playing with confidence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a confident offensive player, and, um, you know, he made a couple – he had a couple going to the basket that helped him, and then he obviously hit the huge three. I think made it seven, right? And uh, so, you know, he, listen, he's – you know, I think that's a – you know, it bothers him a little bit, his shoulder. You know, it's not terrible, but, you know, he's always – he's messing with it a lot, you know, so I think it hurts a little bit. I don't know if that's the right nomenclature, but, you know, when the PR guy starts smirking, you know, you <laughs> misspoke, you know. You guys don't understand that on the way back to the office, that's when he hammers me, you know. Don't say this. Try to use bigger words, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's pretty much every, every win. During the losses, he's good to me. When we win, look out. There's no, no holes barred, you know. Oh, listen, don't get me going on spicy. <laughs> Thank you.